All right, so another project. Today we're gonna try to put on these uh, Dial Dynamics pods. So just got them in the mail. January 1st, 2022. Ha <laughs> I'm bored, so I figured I might as well do something. Uh, we got some stickers. Here they are. I have the, what are these? Are these the combos? No, driving spot, actually yeah, driving it in. Um, I really like the craftsmanship and the quality uh, over Baja Designs. I mean, everyone gets Baja Designs, so I was kind of wanted to try something different. Didn't want to be like everyone else. I do have a set of these uh, for the Tacoma for the fog lights, and <laughs> they are amazing. Um, yeah, this is what we got. These do have the one with the backlights. I think it was like a yellow amber backlight. Uh, so it'll stay on kind of not bright just it'll, it'll just stay on until you can turn on the um, these lights themselves and here's all the hardware okay, got the plugs stainless steel screws mounting hardware here weatherproof uh, connector here okay so next is to pick a spot where I'm gonna put them probably it's late at night but under the Tacoma we have these lights from Amazon I mean they're okay for what they are since purchasing these dial dynamics um, yeah once you get a taste of what the real thing is like it's worth the extra money um, so slowly I'm gonna change out all these guys that one I'm gonna change out the light bar change out all of them it's worth the money um, once you experience it yeah you'll you'll understand all right let's get them uh, installed and I'll see if I can take some videos of the installation process all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, um, so if you look at the instructions, that's the bottom and that's the top. Your harness is there. Now, I pre-assembled it just so I could mock things up on the vehicle, on the Tacoma. So the bracket goes like that, stainless steel hardware, stainless steel hardware. And this is the one I was telling you about it's supposed to be mounted this way. With the bracket on the bottom, cooling fins on the top, and plug and play. It's supposed to be mounted this way, almost like ditch lights, with the dial dynamics emblem here and the SAE stamp there. I don't have that option. Because I want to run them underneath the truck, I'm going to have to flip them, kind of invert it. I don't think it's going to um, mess with the projections too much. Uh, the projections pretty much look the same either way. So I should be okay as far as water drainage. Um, it should be okay. I, I don't think it's going to cause too much of a problem. But if it does, I'll try to flip it later. But for now, I'm going to take these guys off. Uh, put some painter's tape underneath so I can mark where I want to drill. Drill two holes on each, one hole on each side, mount these guys up, and fly these guys in the trash. All right, let's see what it looks like when it's done. Pretty easy. I'm sure I don't need to show anyone how to drill a hole. I'm going to use the existing lights uh, wiring as far as the ground, the power for the um, dial dynamic light itself. And it does, has the, it does have the yellow... Um, Kind of amberish uh, backlight that means that the light just illuminates a little and my idea is i'm getting tired of looking at these raptor lights so i'm gonna disconnect the light the power source from the raptor lights run the wire down to power the dial dynamics just to give it a little different look kind of tired of looking like everyone else so let's give it a shot and see what happens 
Okay, so before I put everything together, start hooking things up, I decided to got this whole kit from Amazon. I'll put a link in it. These are the ones that you heat up and they uh, kind of melt. It has like some kind of flux core thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna put these weather connectors on. I'll put this on Amazon also. Uh, so, where should I have? Yeah, so it comes in this bag, male and female side weather connectors. I'm gonna um, put this on, that way I can plug it in and un unplug it whenever I need. And I have a wire loom cover that'll kind of hide everything and make everything really nice and clean. Okay. Okay, so here's what it looks like um, once it's finished being installed. It, I did have to put it upside down just because of the mounting mounting situation, but it was super easy. Just drill the 3 8 hole going straight up, um, screwed in the uh, supplied stainless nut and bolt, and then just tighten the uh, adjustment there. I wait until nighttime, adjusted the up and down, left and right. And I'll show you what it looks like later tonight. Okay, so here's the test. This is a pretty dark alley with just a little street light there. Let's turn the, uh, I have the fog lights pointed down a little, so let's just turn them on and see. Okay, <laughs> just as bright as the um, regular headlights. All right, so that's a big win for this. Um, I'll see if I can uh, get some other videos up here with a little more detail, but yeah, I mean, these things are, crazy bright um, I have it pointed down and that's just to illuminate what in what's in front of me and not to kind of make other drivers mad so yeah there we go let's turn it off and see what it looks like can't see okay I totally forgot one last piece of uh, information what I did so these are the biodynamic stage series uh, LED pod they do have this function to have the backlight. I forgot if they come in different colors or what, but this is just one that I got. And what I did was I hooked up the blue wire. So there's a, um, a ground, the black, the red is the uh, hot wire for your LED lights. The blue wire is, if in case you want to run it, the, uh, the backlight. So it just barely illuminates the, uh, the pods. And when you do turn on the actual fog light, uh, these guys, you will not see a single trace of the amber color. So in the stock Toyota fuse box, pulled out one of the fuses. I got these, a pack of these from Amazon. It just replaces the uh, fuse. Um, and what I really did was just uh, found one that turns on when the ignition is on and replace it with these guys. And then you just put in your own fuses, the stock fuse back in, and then the new fuse, whatever uh, amperage you want to put inside. So let's take a look. I did leave the Raptor lights on. And here we go. I thought, I thought it was pretty neat. Adds a little different look to it. Hopefully the glare isn't... Uh, coming out too funky here but yeah this is what they look like and when you do turn on the fog lights you will not see any of the amber it's just a really bright spot crisp uh, white light yeah all right hope you guys like it